this is Reese and I am going to show you how to make a chicken salad, a summer chicken salad. Um, and I am here at the Milk House in Mineola, Texas on the farm. So welcome to my kitchen once again and thank you for following us on, on YouTube and on our Facebook page. Um, so, this is so super simple. Remember, this is a chicken that we're trying to extend its life and do several meals from this one, one beautiful chicken that we had. So, this is some more of the chicken that I've just shredded up. I am going to use, because it's August in East Texas, and what do we have? We have these wonderful fall pears that are coming off. They're crispy and they're juicy and super tasty. So I've chopped up a few pears, pears in chicken salad. Sometimes you might put an apple in it, but that's not what I have, it's not the season. I have pears. So we're gonna use up our pears in here. And these pears are going to offer your salad a lot of moisture because they're just, they're just full of this summer beautiful moisture. So, always yogurt. I use yogurt, not mayonnaise. That way you don't have to worry about anything. So beautiful Greek yogurt is going to go into my bowl. I promise you, no one will ever know that you didn't use mayonnaise. I like mustard in mine. If you prefer it without mustard, that's fine. Mustard powder works really nicely too, but I do like a good mustard. So whatever that is uh, for you, um, put a little mustard in until, I just do it until it gets to the color I like it. So in the taste, that adds a lot of vinegar to it, a, a, a tart taste which is what you're after in a good chicken salad. So this is gonna be so great for a summer lunch. If you're like me, you have these jars of pickles and there's just a little bit left in the bottom, just a few pickles and also the onions. I save it and I use it. Now I've got a few pickles here and I'm gonna slice those up. These are bread and butter pickles but I'm gonna get all of those wonderful parts of onions out of there and peppers. It's coming along nicely. You can see how beautiful it's transforming. A little salt and pepper for me, always. A lot of pepper probably. And then just a little bit of salt because we've got the vinegar in here so you don't wanna go overboard on that, that sour taste that tartness and it is really really coming along we're so close this is amazing meal for and so so quick i'm gonna add a little more of my mustard i just want it a little darker um, yellow and of course i'm gonna have to taste it oh we've got the pickles so we're gonna do the pickles so just a quick chop on a few of those pickles, some of the onions that are left in the bottom of the jar. And that way you get to use up all of that yumminess that is in the jar because this all came from my garden, so I don't wanna waste one drop of it. So now we've got, I think, everything in here and it's looking really good did you see how quick that was to do okay no chemicals mm. the pears excellent i'll show you how we're going to plate this we're taking some of our buttermilk flexi bread i've got some of our butter on it the raw guernsey butter on it it's going into a hot skillet and we are going to toast these uh, uh, bread slices and then this is going to go alongside our chicken salad. So we're getting ready for lunch around here at the farm and we have our chicken salad made with the yogurt and the pears that are fresh from our trees and I have toasted some of our buttermilk flaxseed bread in our real raw Guernsey butter of course and Left from the garden, I have a few cucumbers and a few tomatoes. This is a super simple little cold salad for the for the uh, summertime, and I have just 
chopped it and then put rice wine vinegar on this with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And we are going to plate this up, sit down, be very grateful for a glass of milk. And I thank you again for watching. And as always, blessings of great abundance.